Home to one of the new seven wonders of the world, the lowest natural point on Earth, and a surprising amount of bagpipers. Jordan is a country full of treasures. Jordan is a relatively young country, however it covers an area that's home to many an ancient civilization. It's basically a living museum of monuments, relics and ancient treasures, which for centuries have enticed visitors. The country itself sits on the western edge of Asia, in a region that's often referred to as the Middle East, and its name comes from the Jordan River, which also marks most of the northwest border. At the end of 2017, as guests of the Jordanian Tourism Board, Travis, my other half, and I arrived in Jordan ready to bagpipe and film our way through the country's main sites. Our first day was spent in Amman, the capital city, which is filled with some absolute gems. From the citadel sitting on Amman's highest hill, home to an ancient temple of Hercules, to a Roman amphitheater dating back to the second century. 1800 years on, it still has some pretty incredible acoustics. We hadn't completely appreciated just how many ancient sites there are in Jordan, and it wasn't until our second day that it really sunk in. An easy 50 minute drive north of Amman and you're in the city of Jerash, inhabited since the Bronze Age and where you can find one of the best preserved Greco-Roman settlements in the world. The ancient city, sometimes referred to as Jerasa, is filled with colonnaded streets, hilltop temples, public squares and even theatres with their own bagpipe bands. Pipers in an ancient Greco-Roman city might seem slightly out of place. However, bagpipes have been in Western Asia and North Africa for thousands of years. Supposedly, many years ago in this part of the world, wherever you found goats and shepherds, you also found the bagpipes. I'm not saying that Jordan was the birthplace of the bagpipes, but it does have plenty of goats. The bagpipes you now see in Jordan were supposedly introduced by the British in the early 1900s, and as a result, became a fixture of military bands and then popular culture. Skip many, many years and you now find the bagpipes in all sorts of Jordanian celebrations, from weddings and funerals to Christmas and Easter, or even regular evenings in Amman. Any Jordan-focused video would almost be incomplete without a mention of Petra. After all, it is one of the country's national treasures and one of the new seven wonders of the world. In a nutshell, Petra is an ancient Nabataean city carved out of sandstone in the 3rd century BC. It's about three hours south of Amman, it deserves more than a day trip, and it truly is one of the most spectacular sites I've been to and piped at. Much of the land in and around Petra is still inhabited by Bedouin, one of Jordan's ethnic groups. With their permission and with the help of our reps and guides, I was allowed to play the bagpipes throughout Petra and at night in front of the old treasury, known locally as al -Khazni. Unfortunately, the pressure of piping at Petra was obviously too nerve-wracking for me to tune my pipes properly, but it was an incredible experience nonetheless, and I have a Brazilian chap called Brian to thank for this photo. If there's one word I could take away from my trip to Jordan, it would be yalla. Whenever I was walking around, kilted up with my bagpipes in hand, I'd inevitably hear a yalla with the old habibi thrown in there, which translated directly as something along the lines of, let's go, my dear. But I have a feeling it was way more of a, let's hit it, pal. As you might imagine, Jordan is a pretty dry place. 75% of the country is covered in desert and only 1.5% is covered in forest, making it one of the least forested nations on earth. However, what Jordan lacks in forests, it more than makes up for with the Dead Sea, the lowest natural point on earth and its out of this world landscapes. Wadi Rum, a desert region in the south of the country, makes you feel like you're on another planet. Part of the reason it's been used in films depicting other worlds. 